up guys, it's Jace here from Bring Ducks Back. And today, once again, I'm going to be showing you how to clean your duck coop. All of it, the coop, the run, the drain, everything. And um, the reason we were redoing this last video, it was way, way too shaky. I used the wrong camera. Really sorry about that. So we're gonna redo it completely so that hopefully it's better for you guys and it's more helpful. So yeah, stick with us. <laughs> We just had a bunch of days with a lot of rain, really like flooding everything. And this is what it looks like with all the rain and the ducks. As you can see, this is completely saturated with poop, water, food. The whole pipe thing is destroyed with mud everywhere. And normally we would just take up, take the pine shavings and just put them on over this because it would decompose. But if your poop is wet like this, don't do that. It can get mold. It can get all this, all sorts of stuff. It's going to smell bad. So make sure that you take out all these pine shavings and redo it. That's just because it's so wet and it's disgusting. So the first step is make sure that the ducks are not in the poop. They can get in the way. Um, yeah, so just let them out. You can let them in the run here, the pen area, or in the yard. They're in the yard right now. so. They are not going to be in the way. That's important. Because you don't want them like, messing it up. And in step two, we just have this rake here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the really, really bad wet areas. And I'm just going to rake it out. And do that until the whole thing is just mud and dirt. So that it looks like that. And I'll put the pine shavings back over it. I just don't want the pine shavings on top of these mountains because it can make mold. And if, as long as we have the layer about this thick, it should be fine, even if there's a little bit of wet right there. So, yeah, let's go. right into there, like that. And um, I saw some dry pine shavings over there, which means it's good. It may look kind of wet or dirty, and yeah, it is, but we're just gonna put the pine shavings directly above it. And as you can see here, there's not many. It's okay if there's a couple, but we just cleared out all this, so now it's mostly just dirt. And over here, it's fine, it's not that wet. It's really just this area that gets soaked all the time. So yeah, okay, step three. If you watch our other video, um, we installed this drain here and we showed you guys about this thing. And uh, we put bricks. Oh, and it gets really, really messy. But that's part of it. We already knew this. We have to clean it because it is getting soaked, especially when it rains. So I've just gotten away the bricks here. And now we're going to just clear out the pine shavings here the same way we did here. So, yeah. While I was cleaning, just found this worm. Yeah, if you have wet pine shavings, could be under the bricks, wherever. Look out for worms, there's so many. Look at Daisy. Daisy's the one that loves worms, she just eats coffee. What about the others? And yeah, the others too. This one's olive. Snow. Not a share, right? It's kind of clumsy, she jumps into the fence. <laughs> and yes, let's get back to cleaning. Here, like 
like the really wet ones to make it like perfect but I would say do that right when you're gonna put the pine shavings on because when you're cleaning up the other things there's probably gonna be some more pine shavings that get onto there so yeah we're just gonna make sure this is as clean as possible but it's never gonna be perfect so this is really probably the closest we're gonna go got a brand new pine shaving bag Brand new pine shavings bag. Um, I'm gonna open it, make sure that I put them out where I can reach my hand in, and just pull it out. It's gonna get on there a little bit, but it's okay. Just pull it out like this. And just basically. <laughs> Like I said, I want it to be the um, this thick because the top layer will usually get wet if it rains. But if it doesn't rain, then it's just gonna be like that. And that's how you know it's dirty, if it looks kind of green and you see poop and feathers in it, that's when you know it's dirty. So you can see, but there's like little green pieces. That's fine when the whole thing kind of looks brownish and green. And it's like stuck to the bottom and a little bit wet. That means that it's definitely dirty, so that's when you know to clean it. And now we'll just do it around the whole cube. covers this whole thing. I use around this thick like I said before. Um, the ducks do kind of like make hills and bumps so it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfectly flat. We once had one of them digging in and had a huge bowl and they were laying eggs in it. So that was pretty cool. But anyway, um, really what I wanted to show you right now was the drain board thingy. Um, like I said, we made a video on that. If you didn't watch that one, go back and watch that where we built this whole thing with all the stuff underneath. And um, like I said earlier, um, once again, they were kicking the pine shavings all right over it while it was blowing. So we just added a bunch of more bricks. We had a couple, but that wasn't really doing anything. So we added a bunch, locked them in here, and they're pretty much all in there. We put, I don't know, a dozen bricks. And hopefully this will help from the pine shavings going onto the drain. And um, yeah. How we clean this, this drain area here, there was all this food, there still is a little bit here. It's like food and dirt and water, I don't even know. But we just took um, a, the blower and just smashed it in and it will fall down and just kind of blow it really hard. And it's not gonna get everything, but at least when they drink and splash out the water, it should go down into the drain instead of just getting all backed up. I mean, as you can see, it still is a little bit, but it's definitely much, much better. We also took the rake and just um, gently banged on it, and that helped uh, to push it all down. So, mm, here they are. Yeah. Make sure that the drain is clean and the water is not getting backed up because we had a problem with them digging back here. Yeah, they're looking so. I think they want to go in. Yeah. Anna Snow is already enjoying her pond shavings. Fresh so yeah. We're checking out the drain. The next step now is to get the ducks into the poop. They're a little bit skittish still. They're not completely used to me, but yeah, they'll go right in. If you kind of nudge them in and um, you close this. Ooh, they're eating. And now they can eat and drink. And the first thing is you can see uh it kind of like goes through their lips and it falls onto the drain. Guys, 
Alright, so now the ducks are enjoying their new pine shavings. Fresh in the run. Let's get to the coop. And this is a very, very dirty coop, as you can see. And it definitely needs to be cleaned. So, first step here, you just quickly put your shovel there to get some of the top pine shavings out. And then the poop stays on the bottom. Scrape it. And you can also take the rake and push it in. That's another option. Whatever is like easier for you. For me, I just like to do that. For the nesting box, you can use the rake or we can use this little shovel here. I like to use the shovel just because it's easier to scrape. So you can push it out there and then take the mini snow shovel again and just scoop it out like that. So yeah. and stuff and as you can see we pretty much emptied it blew out all the spider webs and some of the poop now I'm just gonna get the rest of it and just scrape it out here and now we fill it with punching so you really just do the same thing Except this coop can hold a lot of weight. So I'm gonna jump in. You can stand up. And sit down. And just spread the pine shavings so that it's nice and thick. Because the ducks sometimes don't make like a hole in the center. I don't know what to do, but. When I go into the coop, if you don't put enough, um, there'll be like really big, thick parts and there'll be bare spots. So make sure that it's really thick when you do it. So one entire bag, like I said, it'll do the run and the pool. Um, if your ducks are over five weeks old, I mean five months old, they'll be laying eggs. And if the pine shavings are thick like this, especially in the coop, um, sometimes they will lay underneath and cover it up or it'll be an egg that you miss. And um, a lot of times when I'm cleaning, I'll find eggs. So try, try to feel around first before you just go full on smashing the pine shavings to scoop it out. But yeah, that's really how you clean your coop. I hope this video is more helpful at least than the other video. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. And be sure to like and subscribe. And um, yeah, bye. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.